is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are diving into another edition of wwe action figure surgery and i gotta be honest with you man not a lot of crazy stuff going on today it's actually insanity i don't think this has ever happened in the 70 episodes well i guess 69 episodes giggity starting off episode 70 i think this is episode 70 you know i probably missed one in the count somewhere maybe but i think this is episode number 70 approaching three-fourths of 100 we've never had a surgery like this man absolute insanity you guys will see what we're talking about but man we got some throwbacks in here we got some pretty cool stuff we're gonna update we got some cool stuff going on here today can't wait to get into it with you again not the craziest episode ever but i think it's gonna be pretty interesting to see how everything unfolds and we can kind of rank these things as we go so every figure you see on your screen right now i'm pretty sure is getting a head swap i'm i could be wrong about that but i'm pretty sure that's what we're gonna do and at the end of the video we're gonna rank the fix-ups in terms of head swaps and things like that you guys know that the other day what we do we went to the walmart and we bought every single figure if you guys missed that video definitely go check it out four hundred dollars worth of wwe figures so it deserves a like and it deserves a watch at least come on however today man we're gonna take a lot of those figures that we got in that little bundle and put them in a surgery episode now i thought about doing you know some elite 89 figures but there wasn't a lot going on you guys can see drew back here we do have some other things i wanted to put bob in here i couldn't really do a lot with dominic i couldn't do a lot with bob i'm still working on bob a little bit trying to see what we can get going. Damien Priest, I didn't really know either as far as like popping the gauntlets and maybe some things here and there and kind of playing around with it, but I'm still working on that. So we will have to see what comes of it. However, man, today we got some epicness. So today, guys, we are going to be fixing my Sergeant Slaughter head sculpt. You guys know we always start off with the guy on the stretcher. That's the rules of the surgery, okay? I don't make the rules, man. I just break them. So we have the Sergeant Slaughter Elite 89. I'm going to put one of my Ultimate Edition head sculpts on it. Should look pretty sweet, nasty farticles. Next Next up, guys, we do have a Scott Hall fix-up, and you're probably wondering, well, this, this head sculpt right here is just incredible. Well, it's not a, a, a horrific head sculpt, but you guys will notice right here, I already have this figure, and I don't like to just have two of the exact same, says the guy who has 19 Jeff Hardys that are the same, or 25 Seths that are the same, or 32 Finns that are the same. Leave me alone, damn it. I have two of the same figure. We're going to head swap one of them just to see what it looks like, and I really like, this is a crowd member right here. He's been there since day one ish. This guy right here, I really like this head sculpt for some reason, so I think this head over here will look pretty pizzazz, and we'll see what that head swap looks like. Next up, guys, we have AJ Styles. Now, this is one that we probably should have done forever ago, and honestly, pro yeah, should have done it. Who remembers this beautiful, sold-out custom AJ Styles? If you remember this figure, you are a real G. Look how clean the white attire is. Shout out to my boy Jesus, who just loves this figure. It's a fantasy attire that I made up in my brain, and he wore it at sold out in his match with CM Punk in the pick fed. So I absolutely love this figure. It's it's definitely nostalgic for me and I'm not going to change anything about the figure because it's so beautiful, but I am going to switch the head sculpt. I used to like this head sculpt a lot, but we've come a long way since Elite 56, man. We've seen 33 more series since then and I think the true effects AJ right here. I know this is an old head sculpt. It's not the best, but I gotta, use, I gotta do something with this terrible basic battle pack AJ Styles figure that we got the other day. We're going to head swap those figures. We're also going to take Finjamin Balor and we're going to take this growling head sculpt and put it on one of my extra Elite 8 82s. I don't really know why. I just kind of want to see what it looks like. It kind of looks like the neck pegs long. He may be doing a head a head bobble there, but we'll see how that goes. I like that a lot. Nah, I, I just, I don't know what the hell I'm saying. I do not like that a lot, but we're going to see how that goes. Next up, guys, we do have Apollo Crews. We're going to put this head sculpt that doesn't even look like Apollo Crews on there. Kind of see what that looks like. It looks like this skin tone's a tad lighter than this one, so it'll probably look a little off, but we are going to run it through there and see what we come up with. Next up, guys, we have Kofi Kingston. Now, I really like this Kofi head swap. I think this will be sweet. I really like this new Kofi head sculpt. However, one time on surgery, I almost snapped this thing's neck off, so I'm not looking forward to heating this up and then switching the head sculpt because I'm afraid that I'll pop that off and ruin the figure. Hopefully that won't be the case, but there is a Kofi head swap, and then we also have John Morrison back here who, uh, you know, we're going to be updating him. We have, like, the Elite 82 head sculpt right here. We're going to be putting that onto the Survivor Series Elite that I use for the pick fed. Kind of fix him up like that and kind of mix up and get, like, a current slash old uh, John Morrison there. And then last but not least, guys, we have the Elite 89 Drew McIntyre, and we're going to put this Battle Pack head sculpt on here. I already have a second Elite 89, so don't crucify me. We have another one of the head sculpts. I have another figure just like this, identical to this, so what cool would it be? We could fix it up a little bit and switch the head sculpt with the pissed off head sculpt just to give us a couple different looks, you know? Not all figures are the same, so that's what we got on Surgery Man. Tons of head swaps, and we're gonna see you know, it probably could have been an appointment, but I felt like it was too much for an appointment. I feel like this is 
is good enough for a surgery, man. So let's dive into what we're going to be doing first. And I think we're going to start off with some head swaps because that's literally what we got. Let's stay to the end, man. We're going to rank these head swaps as well. All right, guys. So our first order of business, I guess we could start off with Elite 89 Drew. Now, one thing that I absolutely love about the new WWE Elites is you don't have to heat this up and pop it off. It just pops off. That is just glorious, bro. Okay, if you're just now getting into WWE Elites and watching action figure surgery, you're like, what is this? What is this freaking truancy? What is this witchcraft that's going on with the head swaps? I just popped mine off. Well, Brad, we used to not be able to do that, so it's blessings. Blessings and highly favored. That's how we are over here. So we're going to take this guy and put him over here. You guys know that basics are only good for what? Knee pads and head sculpts. Say it with me now. And crowd members. However, sometimes it's all you can get, but we are going to heat this head sculpt up now again. I wish they the, the next step needs to be making basics and battle pack figures where they can just pop their heads off. That is extremely on there, and I know the peg hole is super small, so I already know it's going to be a nightmare to switch, but what do you do? I don't know. I'm trying to think here. Uh, should I heat up all the basics together, maybe? Maybe that's a thing. I don't know if that's a thing. A lot of these are new basics, though, and since they're new basics, that means that they're going to be god-awful to pull off. Like, god in heaven. I know they're going to be awful. Maybe I should just start with, like, four at a time and just kind of, you know, just put them together here and just see if we can get all this heated up and then, uh, you know, then we'll have just the head sculpts, but then you can't switch them with the elites. I don't freak, I, I don't like it, man. We're going to go for this and just kind of see how it goes. I, you know, typically one of the old facets of the channel is we would try to get everything in one. I'm not doing that with head sculpts, man. First of all, I'll end up melting torsos. Second of all, I'll end up snapping necks and I don't want to snap necks right now. So I guess I'm just going to, oh God, I'm just going to start off with these. I'll add one more. Okay. I'll do this last one right here. Last one right here. We're going to heat this up. I am so afraid right now, but we're going to attempt it anyway, man. I know I'm not heating up John Morrison. I'll just have to do that at a later juncture, but we do have the return of the trusty white hairdryer. Give him a round of applause for the trusty white hairdryer. Oh God. All right. Mm. All right. All right, bro. I don't know if I trust it, but we're going to try it anyways. Here's Finn Balor. Ah! That was god-awful. I may have to hit that with the replay, bro. That, that shit made me laugh. <laughs> Anyways, let's pop this Finn Balor head on here. Again, not gonna be feeling it, probably. I feel like I just think this neck peg is too long. Ugh. We'll take a look at that in a sec. In a sec by, like, at the end of the video. Get out of my face. All right, next, Apollo Crews. Okay, that one actually wasn't that bad, but you gotta be careful with these short-haired head sculpts because it will tear the ear socket off, and you do not want to tear the ear socket off. All right, we'll put that there. I'm going to put this head over here. That way I can at least turn him into a crowd member. That way he's not completely just wasted, you know? So there is Apollo, and then we put the new Apollo head over here. Again, man, these peg holes, they give me the weeby jeebies. All right, a little bobblehead action, but that's all right. We'll get back to it. Next up, did this one get heated up enough? Got it. Nice. Actually, we're, we're having pretty good luck here. I'm really mainly afraid of the damn Kofi, and I knew this Drew wouldn't get heated up, you sack of turds. Well, we'll have to do him at a later date. And then here's Kofi, which is the scariest one of them all, especially this one. Wow, that was, uh, I need to get a lighter. Hold up, bro. You want to know how you fix this right here? You want to, you want me to show you something crazy? Hold on just a sec. Let me get a lighter. All right, guys, back with the lighter. Let me show you this. Super fig hack. All right, if you ever torso crack or you get these crazy stress marks in the plastic, watch this right here. All you gotta do is take a lighter. If I can get the flame to stay alive here. Take the lighter and just kind of fan over. Fan over the stress mark. And look at that. Look at that. Not completely gone, but if you keep kind of playing with it back and forth, don't like set it on fire, but like just kind of fan over it a little bit. And look at that right there, Brad. That's, uh, yeah, that looks 100% better. A little fig hack for you. Now don't touch it. It'll burn the hell out of you. Don't even look at it. But anyways, while that cools off, I'm going to pop this head sculpt off. Oh my God, that was... That might have been the loudest snap of a figure head coming off that I've ever heard in my entire life. Ugh. So now we got, see, why didn't they make this an elite? Look how beautiful. Knee pads and head sculpts, man. Knee pads and head sculpts. Basics are god awful. Anyways, all right, let's see. I don't know if this is going to go on here, honestly, but God, don't let me embarrass myself in front of my audience. 
Ugh. Oh, hell yeah. We'll look at that in a sec. And then we're moving on to the next step, which is going to be the Drew, AJ Styles, the other AJ Styles. Honestly, might be one of the most entertaining surgeries in a minute. Even though the surgery's not that great, I hope that I have been a swell host and let me know how I do usually. All right, next up is Scott Halsey, which looks very weird with that headband off. I'm glad I'm switching it now. I'm getting rid of it. Uh, We have the other Scott Hall. Now, I'm going to break one of the rules and I'm going to not take his shirt off and that's probably going to be very stupid, but I'm going for it. Now, I, one thing I am going to do is remove John Morrison's accessories because you guys know the rules here. I know, again, I just break the rules and I'm breaking the rules and also following them. So you can't even be that upset, you know? Take off the beautiful robe, take the John Morrison, put him right there. And then before we do that, let's go ahead and switch to Sergeant Slaughter. So if you guys watch my Elite 89 ranking, which some of you didn't, very upsetting, go back and watch it. You'll notice that my Sergeant Slaughter head sculpt, clearly the eyes are misprinted. What we're going to do is pop this head off, get rid of it, throw it in a lake of fire, grab our yelling Sergeant Slaughter head sculpt. It kind of reminds me of Dr. Octopus for some reason, when it doesn't even look like him like whatsoever. And then we put the glasses on here. Look at that. So much better, man. So much better. And there you go. The hat doesn't fit. Get over it. All right, guys. Now we can hit some, uh, hit some hair dryer here. And God... All right, guys, maybe this will be enough here. Let's go ahead and hit it. Very afraid here. Oh, God. All right, we got that. I forgot to heat up the John Morrison head, but I think that it had enough secondhand heat here to pop that on. Excellent. We'll come back to him. Uh, this needs to go into the John Morrison, though. That way we have at least a crowd member out of him. And yeah, boom, we can get that going. That looks nice, that looks terrific. Over here to Scott Hall, excellent, terrific. Scott Hall again, excellent, terrific. Pop that on there, now we have another crowd member, excellent. And then popping this on there, very nice. Kinda looks like the Elite 51 or something. Oh my lord, this whole AJ Styles is about to fall in half. Let's get Drew going. Oh my lord, that was crazy. All right, Elite 89, Drew. Oh, what the hell is that? We'll look at it in a second. Uh, and I guess this Drew head could go on this Drew body. Not a bad looking football basic. AJ Styles, got that off. God in heaven, man, this, this AJ Styles is insane. I don't know how that didn't snap a peg, but it didn't and we're here, so. Oh, God. All right, we'll look at that in a sec, and then popping this on here, and then bam. All right, now that we've done that, man, let's take a look at everything we did here today on Action Figure Surgery. All right, guys, here's everything that we did on WWE Action Figure Surgery. I went ahead and ranked them for you guys, and it's a pretty cool ranking, I think. Coming in at last place, we do have the Apollo Crews figure. You know, nothing, nothing against the Apollo fix-up, man, but it looks nothing like Apollo, right? Next up, we have Sergeant Slaughter. I like this one a lot, and honestly, it could probably go above Finn, but it wasn't the most exciting for me, and we didn't really have to do anything. We just popped the head off and popped the new one on, and you could say that about every figure in this video. However, I make the football rules. Next up, Finn Balor. This actually turned out a little bit better than I expected as far as the long neck, but he definitely, his neck's definitely long. Like, look at that. It, I mean, it's not horrific, but it's definitely there. You can definitely see it's there, and I'm not a big fan of this head sculpt, so... Next up, guys, is going to be Scott Hall, and it reminds me a lot of, uh, like, I feel like this has released, you know what I'm saying? That's just kind of what it gives off. It has not been released, you know, it is, you know, we, we've had different variations of Scott Hall, but I like the way this came out, you know, we get the, with the nice head sculpt. I thought this was a great head sculpt. For not being true effects, this is solid. Next up, guys, is Drew McIntyre, and for Drew McIntyre, I like this. I just feel like he's, like, he doesn't have a neck. Like, maybe this should sit up higher, or maybe I should cut out that skin right there. But I feel like it doesn't look bad. It just looks a bit off. Something's not right with it, but I do like this head sculpt on this body and everything, or as far as, like, double jointed arms and stuff, but I do feel that the head could sit a little bit higher, and that, yeah, that, that was it. Next up, guys, is John Morrison. John Morrison looks terrific. I like this a lot. You get a little mixture of an older version with a newer version, jacked arms, great torso. So this is superior to the Elite 82 in my opinion. Just better posability, better torso, and just formula overall. This figure is fire. 
And then the last two guys, we do have the sold out AJ Styles. Just a beautiful attire with the updated head sculpt. Just it, That's going to be flames every single time. Just look at it. And then last but not least, guys, we do have the Kofi. This is sick AF. I love this head sculpt. I think it looks great. We got rid of some of the crackage marks in the neck. Great looking attire, and it just looks even more fire with this head sculpt on there with the blonde hair. So I really like this, this figure a lot. I think the fix up turned out great and fantastic. I hope this episode was great for you, even though we didn't have a lot of stuff going on, man. I hope I made it entertaining for you and you guys enjoyed it all the way through. If you did, please let me know down in the comment section below, man. But that is going to wrap up this episode of Action Figure Surgery. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. And don't cross the line like uh, I know something crossed the line in this video. I guess no Nick McIntyre. You crossed the line, I've been